Microsoft released Windows 10 anniversary update. This is the second major update for Windows 10, and it's very feature rich. So it has a lot of features with the Edge browser, Cortana, the Ink tools, as well as different things you can do with your desktop environment. So go ahead and follow these instructions on how to go ahead and update your Windows 10 machine right now, because right now it's on a rolling release, and Microsoft is only updating it to first mobile devices and then to desktops and only to desktops that can support it initially. So this is if you want to try out Windows 10 anniversary with all the features that have been added, go ahead and follow these instructions and you'll be able to experience the new features Windows 10 is offering. The first thing you want to do is open up your system settings. You can do that by clicking on the Windows button and then settings. This will bring you to what is now what will be considered the control panel. It's not like the traditional Windows 7 control panel. It's highly been categorized by Microsoft. That last option is updates. You can click on updates, and the first window it's going to bring us to by default is Windows updates. So we're going to click on learn more. This is going to take us to the Microsoft site that's going to allow us to download Windows 10 anniversary installer. So it's going to come here, and this is by default the page right now. So, and you just click on get the anniversary updates. It's as simple as that. It's going to download an, an executable file that will run once it's down, finished downloading. And the download itself is relatively small. So this is part is not going to take very long. But the installation itself, Windows 10 anniversary, can take well over an hour. So be sure to do this when you have some time. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to start downloading. It's roughly five megabytes. So this is installation does need internet access. So you have to run this and it will require that your laptop have internet access during the installation because it will download the full Windows 10 anniversary edition. So we can go ahead and open up the file. It's really as simple as all this. Uh, you do need to have administrator rights on the computer you're doing this on. So be sure you're logged in as administrator. And once you do that, it's going to check if your system is compatible, what version of the operating system you're currently running, and then check device compatibility. If you have enough memory and disk space and CPU usage and the right version of Windows, you can go ahead and click next, and it's going to go ahead and do the installation. Now this part will take a long time, so be patient. Do not shut off your computer. Do not power it off. Make sure it's plugged in, and just go step away and just let it do. It's going to go through the whole installation and it's going to go ahead and restart itself. On restart, it will do some additional configuration, so be sure to be patient, let it run. It will do the whole installation by itself, and once it comes up, it will ask you a few basic questions about configuration, and then you're ready to go with your Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. I hope you enjoy it.